There's a, a man named Eric Slosher who wrote Fast Food Nation. Maybe you read his book. He just wrote a book called Command and Control. The New York Times just named it one of the top 100 books of the year. Command and Control, it's about the nuclear accidents that we've had in this country where we almost blew ourselves up. There's 11, depending on how you count, 14 different times we came this close to blowing ourselves up. There was an accident with a B-52 bomber flying in, over North Carolina where it disintegrated in flight and several bombs dropped from the bomb bay of the B-52. One of these hydrogen bombs fell all the way to the ground. There were seven safety switches that are supposed to prevent that bomb from going off. Six of them failed. Six of them failed. One small dollar circuit prevented that hydrogen bomb from destroying a good portion of North Carolina. Just in 2007, in case you think this is ancient history, a B-52 flew off from Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota carrying six cruise missiles on its wings that it was bringing down to Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana for retirement. We were, out of we were decommissioning them. They were going to be destroyed down there. Unbeknownst to the crew, by accident, six live nuclear armed cruise missiles were loaded on that plane. It flew those nuclear cruise missiles all the way down. They landed. They spent the night on the tarmac. Nobody knew they were there, guarded by just the normal security, a guard, a barbed wire fence. The next day, one of the crew looked, and he looked at the cruise missiles, and he saw there was a little red dot on the nose of the missiles, the dot that tells you that's nuclear, not conventional. He told his commander. His commander didn't believe him. They found out it was true. They hit, picked up the phones. They called him. The really bad news, Minot, back in North Dakota, never knew they were missing. Never knew they were missing. A friend of mine used to be the commander of the strategic command. He said if you had asked him before this happened what were the chances of this happening, he would have said zero. It can't happen. So you think you're safe? You think you don't have to worry about these kinds of accidents? If this kind of thing is happening in the United States, where we have the best command and control system in the world, what's going on in Russia?